Hi everyone, it's Mercy here from Stampin' with Mercy and I am live today with you. I am going to be creating this um, super fun easy card that is going to be um, using some of the awesome Bubbles and Fizz DSP from the Celebration uh, promotion that is almost over. You only have a few more days. Hi, Jenny. Um, you only have a few more days to um, get your orders in to qualify for this great paper. Um, but this card here uh, is going to be a very quick and easy card to create. Um, and I'm also going to show you my awesome Stamparatus. Remember last week I posted that I got this lovely box in the mail and I was squealing with delight. Well, this is my Stamparatus. So today I'm going to be creating um, this part here using the Stamparatus. Jenny, it's pouring rain here in Strathroy. What's it doing in uh, your area? Turn the volume down there. So, all right, so I am using the Birthday Wit stamp set. This is a super fun stamp set. I've used this in a few different classes already. So, um, I don't know about you, but I tend to get a little behind with my uh, birthday cards. So, uh, I thought that this, uh, this fun sentiment was super... Uh, cute and uh, I would definitely be able to make use of it. Sunny where you are, wow. Okay, so the Stamparatus comes, you're gonna have to excuse the glare here, it comes with two of these um, hinged plates that go on your Stamparatus itself. You, I'm only needing the one today, so it's hinged so it will pop off, try not to jiggle my table here, pop off and then you just move it down as you need. It also comes with the foam mat if you are going to be uh, using photopolymer, but because this stamp is the uh, clear mount, so I don't need the, um, the mat. So I'm just gonna move that aside and then underneath, is where the uh, two extremely strong magnets are held. So I've got some washi tape on mine. I, uh, I've seen a lot of demonstrators um, tips in that and they either use washi tape or painter's tape or duct tape. I happen to have an awful lot of washi tape so uh, that's what I'm going to be using. And they're extremely strong. You don't want to uh, get them to touch and that that's the way they get broken and so I'm just gonna take my piece of whisper white cardstock and I'm gonna line it up on the grid here I think I'm only gonna need the one so I'm gonna just step my uh, stamp there and then I'm going to use even pressure to pick it up. The magnets are very strong. I couldn't believe how strong they were. Um, I really had to use some effort to get it off of the board. So see it just sticks just like that. Yeah, I was up and out the door with the girls first thing this morning. They uh, had grooming appointments in London. So let me just shift this over a smidge so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm actually, to show you how awesome the Stamparatus is, I'm going to ink it up just like that because sometimes when you're running a class your customer thinks oh that's inked up enough they take a look and 
stamped. Oh, it just fell off. Darn it. Let's just put some pressure. I haven't had that happen yet. Well, it's a good thing that it's happening live so you guys can see that these things do happen and you just go with the flow. All right, so I'm going to pick it back up and you can see that it's not stamped um, fully, the black. There's a few spots here that um, aren't fully covered with ink. So the beauty of the Stamparatus is you can re-ink, flip it back over, re-ink your stamp because it's clear. It's not a uh, photopolymer. It's clear mount. So there's no way you'd be able to um, get that to the exact same spot. So fingers crossed it doesn't fall off again. There. So with the Stamparatus, you're able to get it in the exact same spot. You trim your labels, Di. Well, thanks, Diana. Okay, so, and still, there's a corner right there. I don't know if there's a goober or a smudge or something on my uh, stamp. So, let me just ink that one more time. And Lola is in the office here with me, and she's snoring, so if you hear anything, it's not me. Lola was out the door with me at 7.30, so she had quite the exciting day. Uh, she was done at 11, because Buffy was with her, so... Uh, there. So you can see the effort that it took to get this thing off. It's uh, very, very strong, so be very careful. So to clean it, I just had a microfiber cloth that I picked up from the dollar store. Um, I like to save money on products like that where I can. I just cut them in half and I use them in my classroom as well. My ladies know that there's a wet one and a dry one and we just, uh, Wipe it with the wet, dry it off, and just use that on your uh, window there, and just uh, just like that, and then it's done. Now, when you're storing your Stamparatus, they highly recommend that you do not store it with the hinges on. So I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to put my magnet there and I'm just going to tuck this to the side. Okay, so I got to cover this up. So I'm going to emboss my piece of uh, Whisper White with my Polka Dot Basics cardstock. All right. And my big shot and when you are just a reminder when you are uh, running your embossing folders through the big shot always run it through with the spine first otherwise you could cause this part here to crack if you run it through backwards with the open part try not to shake the table too awful much there we go. Okay, and my card base is my Thick Whisper White that I always use. Yes, you can take the door off to help it clean, and you can use just a mild dish liquid, Jenny, um, for cleaning it. So I'm just going to adhere my Bermuda Bay. The 
it was crazy, crazy in London this morning. Um, I went to a specialty grocery store after I dropped the girls off. And being that it's Easter weekend, oh my goodness. It's just, people think that the stores are going to be closed forever, I think. They just, it was at 9 o'clock in the morning. It was full. The parking lot was absolutely full. And I thought, wow. They're open back again Saturday. We have a Easter dinner tomorrow and then an Easter dinner on Saturday. Although Saturday's dinner is not the traditional, or Sunday's dinner, sorry, is not the traditional Easter dinner because my kids didn't want that because they were having that at Grandma's tomorrow. So, uh, okay. So for my paper, my card stock, I am using the Bubbles and Fizz um, from the first celebration brochure. They had, Stampin' Up! has released um, three different celebration brochure catalogs. So this is the first one, and the Bubbles and Fizz is in here on page 13. And then this one here only had the uh, three items in it with the Eclectic Expressions Springtime Foil. This was very popular with my customers. And the Blossoming Basket Bundle, that also was uh, very popular. And then Stampin' Up! a couple weeks ago surprised us with yet another offering with um, $60.00. Uh, or your 120. These are items from the annual catalog and the occasions catalog. And if you are ordering these as part of your rewards, you have to make sure that you use the special code so that you don't get charged for it. So the Bubbles and Fizz paper, I am literally almost out of it. I have used it in my memory keeping club and in a couple different card classes so I've gone through almost my entire package so this is a great way you see I've got a few scraps here so this is a great way to show your customers how they can you know s squeeze that little bit more out of their paper so I've got my one and three quarter inch punch circle punch my two inch circle punch and my two and a quarter inch circle punch. So I am just going to punch out a couple of the uh, circles here. This one is almost the full sheet, but the other two, I only have little bits of them left. So then you would just randomly attach them down, but first I want to fussy cut out my sentiment here. So I'm just going to do a rough cut around so that I don't have all that excess. So then I'm just going to come in and leave a little border around the edge. And this is a very quick fussy cut because it's a solid line. There's no branches or anything like that coming from it. So it really does not take too long to cut. And you can see I'm turning my paper. My scissors are basically staying in the same position so that way you're getting a nice even cut line, you're not getting really choppy cut lines. So
And there we have it. Pretty easy peasy. Pizza on Sunday. That is fun. Um, yeah, Jenny, we're actually, we're having a dish called no peaky chicken that, um, cause I told my kids, we have a family group in Facebook that, um, I post to, to find out what everybody for big family events, I just post in there and ask the kids what they want. And I told them that I would do whatever they wanted. They just needed to tell me so that I could get to the grocery store in time to, uh, do some shopping for it and they chose no peaky chicken which is a pretty simple dish it's rice cream of mushroom soup cream of celery soup some milk some butter chicken breasts and um uh, the dry lipton onion soup mix and then you just uh layer it all sprinkle the soup mix on top of the chicken and cover it with tin foil and bake it for a couple hours in the oven um, without looking at it and it's done. It doesn't get much easier than that and I'll do a salad with it and yeah and we're also going to be working on um, more of the uh, wedding table favors on Sunday. We're a third of the way through so uh, that's fun. The um, OCD in me had to really take a step back um, and let let the kids help. You know how you like to do things a certain way and you're very critical of the way it looks. So uh, that was a little... The only thing I did say though was I'm doing all the embossing just because <laughs> so anyhow so here is today's card now isn't that quick and easy um, and a great way to really stretch your um, DSP a little further and showing your customers how you don't need a whole lot to really make a card look great uh, but something I want to do though is add my a sentiment to the inside so um, the stamparatus is not going to replace my clear blocks for things like this I um, still will be using those I have a ton of clear blocks so with having classes so um, we will still continue to use them so I'm going to stamp on the inside uh, the You're Welcome on the inside of my card here. Just straighten this grid paper up. It's difficult to reach over and not hit the camera. And I am unfortunately have to be in portrait mode because I haven't gotten into the Apple Store yet to see what the heck is going on with my, my phone here. So, and then I'm just going to random stamp a few of these little burst things in the corner just to finish that off. So there is today's card. Hi, Naomi. There, so if you were shopping in my online store, please use the host code. Um, it goes for just a few more days. And uh, then uh, April 1st, I'll have another host code. Um, the portrait mode is working on this end. Thanks, Jenny. It's just when I, I like to put it to my YouTube channel and then it's so narrow. Um, if I could figure out why my phone is acting up. It doesn't, my phone does not cross post from Instagram to my business Facebook page either. My iPad does, but my phone does not. So there's some glitch with my phone. So yes. 
So does anybody have any questions or anything like that? If you do, I'll hang around for a few more minutes. Um, otherwise, there is a grim, there is, there is, I don't know what's, it's so weird. Um, I've had so many issues with my phone and I, this is actually my, is this my third or fourth? I keep bringing it in and they keep giving me, I think, refurbished. Um, the one, the time the battery was swelling and I hadn't even had it that long and they don't replace the battery so they replace the entire phone um yeah uncle brad can't fix it up naomi <laughs> unfortunately he does not um he doesn't uh know how to fix iphones he can fix a computer but uh not a phone so anyhow um that is it for today hopefully i will be back next thursday i say hopefully because I have to start practicing for my on-stage presentation and I uh, have a bit of uh, nerves for that. There's going to be 500 people in London, Ontario, so uh, it's a little different than talking to myself in my craft room here. So I, uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of next week, other than my class on Tuesday, Practicing, practicing, practicing so that I will um, have a uh, smooth um, presentation. I'm really afraid of tripping up the stairs is my biggest fear because I've been known to do that. So um, I'm hoping to have somebody video my presentation, Jenny. I hope, I hope. Um, we'll see. Uh, I've got, there's six of us all together from uh, my team. Myself and five team members. Oh yeah, I'll totally be wearing flat shoes. But that doesn't seem to always matter because I've tripped up the stairs at the mall wearing flat shoes um, and then quickly popped up and looked around to make sure not too many people were uh, watching me. So yeah, <laughs> so that that is my biggest fear is tripping up the stairs, especially when I'm nervous. So um the good thing is if I do trip up the stairs, I'm quite short at five foot two and a half, so I don't have far to go to hit the ground. So yeah. <laughs> You're a faller too? Yeah, I fall up or down the stairs. Um, it's just one of those things. Yeah. So anyhow, um, I'm really looking forward to next weekend um, and then being able to share what I've made. Um, it's been uh, driving me crazy not to share with anybody my creations. So um, I'm really looking forward to being able to show my team what I created. Um, they're very excited. And then I have some special team gifts that uh, for the girls that are coming with me. So uh, yeah, and then we're going to do a dinner afterwards and talk about it. And then our team meeting is actually on Monday night and the blackout uh, is lifted Monday afternoon. So that's perfect timing to be able to uh, share with my team the stamp sets and everything that are coming out that the team members that weren't able to get in and the new team members um, that uh, signed up after the uh, uh, registration was closed. So, uh, We'll um, be doing a make and take with some new products. So uh, I hope they're as excited as I am. So anyway, um, thanks so much for stopping by today. I really do appreciate it. Um, my stomach is growling. I haven't had lunch yet. So um, I best be getting off. Um, oh, thanks, Jenny. I try to be a great team leader. It's really important to me to... Uh, to treat them the way I would want to be treated and I do love to buy little things for my team and do special things like that for them and I'm so super excited about all things Stampin' Up! so I think it uh, I think it it shows and rubs off on them so uh, yeah so anyway 
that is it for me today. Unfortunately, I have to go back to the grocery store here in Strathroy because I need some items that they didn't have in the specialty uh, grocery store this morning. So I'm really not looking forward to it. But uh, unfortunately, after I have a bite to eat, I will have to brave the uh, crowds yet again in the rain. So yeah, so everybody have a wonderful uh, Easter weekend. Have um, lots of special family time and um, enjoy making those memories with your family. And uh, happy Easter and hopefully I will be back next Thursday afternoon at one o'clock again as long as I am running on schedule and ready for my uh, onstage presentation. Bye everyone.